I have an addiction. And by the title of this video, you already know what it is. Mobile games. I am like a little goblin when playing them. The quick dopamine fix it constantly gives me makes it extremely difficult to put down my phone and get anything productive done. I end up playing mobile games everywhere, traveling, shopping, cooking, exercising, and even going to the toilet. When I'm away from my mobile, I'm like an addict suffering with withdrawals. I just can't wait to get back to my phone and back to the game. Over time, I've been addicted to Candy Crush, Toon Blast, Clash of Clans, and most recently, War Heroes. There's of course also the hugely successful Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, and Pokemon Go. All of these games can be ridiculously addictive, and most of these games can never end. The companies that design these games constantly update them so that we won't stop playing. Most of these games also have ads of other games within them. And if we're enticed enough to click on those ads, and start playing those games, then the cycle continues. Each of these games have also perfectly crafted a formula to keep us glued to our screens. It's not just the enjoyment of a fun game. It's the upgrades, it's the collectibles, it's the time sensitive bonuses, the bright colors they use, and the uplifting sounds and music that play on our subconscious to keep us feeling good. Stuck on that level that you just can't seem to pass? Need a little help? Need a hint? Some extra energy? Emeralds, gems, lives, or whatever you call it. Well that's simple, for just a few dollars, you can pay for all the extra whatevers the game needs you to have. There's even bundle packs where you can pay hundreds of dollars for a ridiculous amount of those extra whatevers to keep you playing long into the night. What does all this remind you of? Freaking pokey machines. These games can be the debit card draining champions, not just for adults, but for teens with their first bank card, destroying our bank account and our mental health at the same time. That's right, like many addictions, the real problem is the side effects. This addiction to mobile games has been known to have an association with social anxiety, loneliness, and depression. There are also the side effects of bad sleep patterns, lack of self-worth, squandered intimacy, and over-medicating. And of course, the financial costs of all those in-game purchases. The reason why all these games are so addictive is because of their reward system while playing. The feeling of being rewarded gives us that dopamine fix. Dopamine is a type of neurotransmitter. Your body makes it and your nervous system uses it to send messages to your nerve cells. That's why it's sometimes called a chemical messenger. Basically, dopamine has a role in how we feel pleasure. These gaming companies know exactly what they are doing, and they are making an absolute fortune out of our addiction. Okay, so how can we get out of this zombie state that these games have got us in? There are a few steps you can take to at least suppress your craving for playing these games. Disable notifications. The moment you install these games, they will instantly turn on notifications that will remind you every single day about the reward that's waiting for you once you click through. If you turn off the notification for the game in the settings, then the invitation to play the game every single day won't be there anymore. Make sure the game isn't on your home screen. This is the next level to stopping the notifications because if you can get the game as far away from your home screen as possible, then it won't be the first thing you see when you unlock your phone. Put the game on another device. Now I know that Pokemon Go is meant for your mobile phone, so you'll have to rely on the first two steps. But for all the other games, this is the main step that you should take. Putting a mobile game on your laptop or iPad instantly lowers your destructive, excessive mobile screen time. Simply because we take our mobile phones everywhere and those other devices we mainly leave at home. In truth, we should be deleting these mobile games altogether from our lives. The short dopamine fix we get from them don't offer any other life satisfactions or health benefits. Instead of short-term dopamine fixes, we should be looking for dopamine that will give us long-term life results, such as plenty of sleep, exercising often, daily sunlight, listening to music, meditating, and eating less saturated fats. If deleting these games from your mobile phone is still too difficult and you can't bring yourself to do it, then like any addiction, it's time to confess to someone and ask for help. Simply give them access to your mobile phone and ask them to delete it for you. They'll probably also check in on you every now and then and make sure you're doing fine. Thank you for going beyond a thought in mobile phone game addiction. 
Let me know in the comment section any addictive mobile games that I've missed and any of them that you've gone through. If you enjoyed the video, then of course, please like it, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that like an addictive mobile game, you'll be notified every time I put a video out.